Hey there guys and gals, and welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill 3. This is part 7. And we're going to go to Brickhaven Hospital. I probably should read Harry's notebook first. Um, just cause. It's quite a long memo, so yeah. Oh, it flashes. Cool. That's awesome. Uh, reload that. And equip my katana. And... Oh, examine. Okay. I hope this will never come to any use. Maybe it's better if you never know. More than anything else, I fear that the possibility of your going away far away from me. But sometimes we have to tell the truth. That's why I'm writing this before I'm lost in death and oblivion. What happened back then? That has something to do with who you are. It all started 24 years ago. Coming back from a vacation, my wife and I found a baby on the side of the highway. Since we were childless, we thanked God for letting us meet this child, this girl. We took her home. Three years later, my wife died. And another four years later, 17 years ago. I came to Silent Hill, I heard the girls please, and took her with me, not knowing why she wanted us to go there. And it was there that the girl went away. Not that she actually went anywhere, nor did she die. Returned to her original self. That is what Dahlia Gillespie said. Original self. That was the young woman burned by her mother as a sacrifice to God, Alessa Gillespie. Half her soul escaped in those flames and went on to live in a baby, in that girl of mine, of ours. Seven years passed before that half a girl returned to Silent Hill and made Alessa whole again. Newly strengthened, she vowed to kill God. God. A fetus nestled into this sacrificial girl's womb was summoned with the usual rites. This was Alessa's wish, no matter what the outcome, even if her own, even if her own existence was at stake. But that wish was not granted. My interruption meant she praying instead for the girl's return. I alone couldn't bring her back. Dahlia did it. I only helped at the birthing ceremony to bring God out of Alessa. The newly born God wailed once and was dead. All from that girl's and probably Alessa's conscious res resistance. That is not the end. After God had vanished in a glow of light, Alessa reappeared and gave me a baby. She looked a lot like the girl, that girl so long ago. And then Alessa was gone. Dead. There was nothing I could have done to help. I simply clutched the baby to my chest and ran off. The whole thing felt like a dream. But I had proof that it wasn't. The girl was nowhere to be found. And in my arms... The baby. Now seventeen years have passed. It feels a lo like only yesterday. And again it feels like a million years ago. I confess I had reservations at first about raising that baby. Could I love her? Her existence was fairly unexplainable. I thought she could be that young woman who was snatched away my who snatched away my beloved daughter. That led me to sadness. Anger. There were times when I put my hands around her tiny little throat. Several times I even considered abandoning her. That's what a terrible person I am. But I decided to raise her after all. I just couldn't seem to let her go. When she... When you look at me, you laugh so... Even now I can't forget about that girl. 
I love you. I have no doubts about that. That's all I ask you to believe. To my precious daughter, Harry Mason. That is really quite sad whenever you think about it, mainly because he he actually wanted to kill her. He didn't think that she was his daughter. Hello, Doublehead. Okay, Doublehead. This resembles Alessa, um, Chard, which um, also um, alludes to the fact that she was burnt by her mother. The split head may affect, may symbolize a split personality between Heather and Alessa, um, but also it kind of is supposed to resemble a labia. I think that's the vaginal lips. I have no fucking clue. I do not know vaginal anatomy, but that is what I believe it's supposed to symbolize, since. Um, childbirth is a prominent feature in this game. Oh, hello, Pendulum. Hello, this is brilliant. Okay, Pendulums. They could be Alessa and Heather um, trying to fight for the consciousness of the body that they are both living in. Um, but furthermore, it could also the screeching could also symbolize childbirth and how painful it is. Um, especially because of the head coming out of, the, of uh, the lower end of the monster. Kind of symbolizing childbirth. Um, so yeah. I'm trying to think if there's any more monsters around here. I don't think there are any. Let's go down here. Cookie! He's a cookie! Oh, it says Gookie. Okay. I'll just assume it still says cookie. Heaven's night. There is a tourism magazine, I believe, in Heaven's Night. So is there anything oh, magazine, um anything else? Bullets. Okay then. A tourism pamphlet. I'd forgotten it. But it's true. Sound Hill was originally in a resort town. Welcome to Silent Hill. Silent Hill, a quiet little lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. Take some time out of your busy schedules and enjoy a nice restful vacation here. Row after row of quaint old houses, a gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows different sides of its beauty with the passing of the day, from sunrise to late afternoons to sunset. Silent Hill will move you and fill you with a feeling of deep peace. I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever. Editor, Roger Widmark. <laughs> well, that's gonna fail miserably. Oh, hello. It's a flyer from a club. It shows a woman with long black hair. The return of Lady Maria from 8pm on the 27th. Lady Maria, obviously it's referencing Maria from Silent Hill 2, um, because it is believed that James had come to Heaven's Night once before, whenever his wife was ill. Um, it's referenced, it's not really known. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, also, there were more posters of Maria in Silent Hill 2 that featured as well. Um, can't really think of anything else that could have... Oh, hello. And it's clear that Maria's hair was dyed blonde because there was some black roots in it. Um, which obviously leads to the conclusion that... Oh, look, they fixed the R. Which leads to the conclusion that perhaps she was made from James's mind after he saw these pictures. Great, so now we're going to meet nurses! Of course, Silent Hill is not Silent Hill without a nurse. Or a few. Brookhaven Hospital map. That's brilliant, I need that. Uh, health drink, go take that. 
Save point, don't need that. The lock's broken for there, which is amazing considering in the last game it wasn't. A lot changes in seven years. Oh, ten years. Get back here, you bitch. Um, in the Book of Memories, I believe it is, which is the guide or something regarding this game, um, it actually says that these nurses were real nurses in Brookhaven that were taken over by the influence of Silent Hill. Um, so yeah, but it's also likely that they are supposed to symbolize uh, Heather's hospitalization. Well, not Heather's, but Alessa's whenever she was born. There must have been kids here too then. I played with dolls like this when I was a child too. Really takes me back. These are an optional thing that you can read. Um, I'll try and find them all. This day has finally come. That's right. The day when you and I will meet. I will always think I was always thinking of you here in this gloomy cell. I never even knew your name or face until today. But now I know. I know you're the one I've been waiting for. And haven't you been waiting for me too? That's why you came to rescue me. Oh, how I love you, Heather. I want to give you my prized doll I made to commemorate our meeting. The start of this everlasting love. Ah, I can already see your smiling face. Stanley Coleman. Disgusting! I wouldn't touch that with ten-foot pole. And there's another nurse down there, so I ain't gonna bother going down there. And... just looking around. Okay, uh... oh, hello. There's stuff written on the whiteboard, but none of it really matters to me. How do you know? There's medical records, or something. It's for this guy, this Leonard guy. Could he be the same Leonard that Vincent was talking about? Room S12. Presenting mild and audi mild audiovisual hallucinations, emotional instability, obsessive ideas. Suspect mild schizophrenia. Will continue observation. Basically calm and cooperative with a strong sense of justice. However, according to reports, becomes very violent when overexcited. There's another one for this Stanley Coleman. This is the guy who wrote that sick diary. Room S7. Usually passive and cowardly. Also egotistical. Sometimes shows and acts on obsessive attachment to a particular woman. This has caused violent incidents. Use caution. Uh, which is very weird. Nothing on the de interest on the desk. Food only. Do not store drugs. I wonder if it's okay to store health drinks in here. Holy shit! I never fucking thought that that would have happened. Oh my god! I never knew that was there. Wow. Awesome. I learned something today. Okay, let's continue. Um, I think my phone rang, which, yep, it did. Perfect. Shit, nursey. No, fuck off. It's locked. Hurrah! Oh, hello, nursey. No. No. Some of these nurses have handguns, which is not a good thing. Okay, that one's dead. Move on to the other one. Move on to the other one, love. Fuck you, bitch. Um, the nurse, the nurses also have red lips sometimes. Um, some fans speculate that it could be a reference to Lisa Garland, who was the nurse in the red cardigan in Silent Hill One. Oh, hello. So nothing in here. Bye. Fucking nurses. Anything in here other than nurses? Yep, good. Uh, book. I'd better see what the fuck that was on my phone while I try and read this. The organization has me shut up in here. 
They mean to break my will. To make me forget about all that. But I'll stay sane even if they throw me in here with lunatics. How about I, if I stick this onto the wall? That would be worthless. You can peel it off, can't you? With that junk those nasty wenches won't stop using. If a thing has no meaning, there's no reason for it to exist at all. Just as you exist for me. But why haven't you taken my doll with you? Ah, my gift must have embarrassed you. How cute you are, Hatter. Stanley Coleman. This is creepy as fuck. Okay, so there's a little stuff stuck to the wall. A cookie, toothbrush, spin, Christmas card, clock. I don't even know how the fuck he would have had glue in the first place. There's a key glued to the wall. I'd love to take it with me, but it's really stuck tight. I can't even pull it off. Ew, there's a beetle on it. Ew. That's nasty. Anyway, so now we know that we have to go to the woman's staff room. Which is on the third floor, I believe I remember. Also, in this one, in this game, the elevator works. So we will use the elevator. Since the uh, stairs are locked, for some reason. It makes no sense! Oh, my bum. It's sore. <laughs> like you people want to know, but okay. <laughs> Um, second floor, second floor, what's on the second floor? It's not like I don't have a map. Second floor, nurse's station. Oh, okay. That's, uh, okay. That's awesome. I need to go down here. Oh, wait. Diary again! You may not have... You may not yet have realized your own true feelings, but you sense some unconsciously. And so, you're trying to get closer to me, that's a virtue. The path to paradise. If the door's locked, open it. Use the password for the, pri for the prison gates. Doctor. I've forgotten his name. Anyway, that quack has it posted. He should be here too. I mean, four numbers would have been good enough. But he kept on going. Isn't it a shame? I'm not here. I'm not there, aren't you irritated? I long for you, but you're so cruel. Still, I want you, Hatter. Stanley Coleman. And doll follows us around. There's no reason to fucking pick up the doll, because he can't. <laughs> Even if he stalks you a lot. Okay, so... Oh, for fuck's sake. And the can, nail polish remover, and perfume. Great. Um, the perfume is absolutely worthless. Um, you don't have to pick it up at all. If you equip the perfume, the nurses will attack you more. So, yeah. Only use it if you're trying to get a 10 star. I'm obviously not because I'm playing this for fucking more than two hours by the looks of things. The first is larger than the second. The second is twice the third. The third is smaller than the fourth. The fourth is half of the first. Four of the numbers are not repeated. The four of the numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key. Okay, so one of the numbers is the final key. Um. Um, um, you can't have to, um, let's try eight, six, three, four.
Yay! It worked! I'm smart! Fuck yeah! Science, bitch! Oh wait, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Maths, bitch! Oh! Goody, goody, a corpse! Flo papers scattered everywhere. There are medical records. Could this be for a dead guy? Background unknown. Name age unknown. Not admitted patient. Found in poor mental state on hospital grounds and temporarily installed in room. M4 at chief's discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to a severed carotid artery. Was grasping own kitchen knife in right hand, assuming... Assume this was the cause for the neck wind. Why would he have a knife in a fucking mental institution? Possible suicide, but wound angle suspicious. Sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation. Have received no proof or corroboration of event from patient residing in the same room. Have not notified police. However, for future necessity, leave victim's bed and effects intact. Room M4. Room M4 is... Yep, we're on the same floor. Good. Hello, you. The start time is my key. Thank you. That's a clue. Um, that's a clue for something that we have to find in M4. Fuck off. Fuck. Oh, she's got a handgun. She's got a handgun. Nurse, she got a handgun. She gonna be gangsta. Oh, hello, clock. Okay, so the start time is the key. This says 206, I believe. Attache case looks locked. 0206. Good. Um, that's randomized instant camera. It could be any combination of anything, really. Oh, look, a diary. There was a tattooed guy on that ra tr rumpled bed. Not anymore, though. That alarm clock and filthy bag are his. Ah, but don't misunderstand. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him, though he was a liar. Shall I write something of my own on my chest, since I can't cut it open to show you my heart? I love you, Heather. No, something a bit more forceful. I love Heather. Isn't enough. I love Heather isn't enough for what I feel. Oh, what tender emotion that image brings. Okay, thanks. Um... Yeah, as you would... As you may have noticed, he does leave us clues and things. Well, he tells us the clues and things that we would need for uh, some puzzles. Which is very nice of Stanley, even though he is a creep. Okay, so... I know what we have to do. We need to go to the first floor first. Um... You know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the first floor, get the key, and then I'm going to go to the reception area, save and stop. Because this is going on for a little bit too long. Nurses No Anyway. It was a room at the end, wasn't it? C2, C3, C4. C4! Ah! I don't know what I'm doing. Don't ask. And nail polish remover. Ooh, look, cookie. Use nail polish remover. Stairwell key. Get the fucking cookie! Okay, so anyway, uh, let's go save, and then we'll stop. So this was part 6 of Let's Play Silent Hill 3. In part 7, I have no fucking clue what goes on. I forget a little bit. Um, 
I'm pretty sure in part 7, we'll go into the other world variant of the hospital. I'm not sure whether or not we'll fucking beat the next boss. We'll come close to the next boss, but I doubt we'll beat him. Okay, so yeah, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for part 8. Is it part 8, or... Fucking hell, I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, this is gonna be fun. Um. Yeah, it's part 8 next. <laughs> okay, so thanks for watching, peace out, bye! You killed your father. I'll be waiting.